the mistake. But jobs, as many of you know, are a very complicated business. Those sector has a wide range of buyers, with each person using their truck for a different purpose. We believe, however, it all comes down to just a few simple truths that have helped make us the industry leader, the industry franchise in trucks. Truth number one, customers depend on their truck for more than just transportation. They truly need their truck. They rely on it to make a living and do what they enjoy most when they're not working. That's why the Chevrolet Silverado is, without doubt, the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickup on the road. <coughs> Number two, work comes first for our truck customers. Every truck is a work truck with a job to do, no matter how premium it is. So capability is truly vital. That's why every Chevy truck has a whole formed high step steel bed, something no other company offers. And number three, trucks. Customers want the perfect truck for them, not a one-size-fits-all truck. That is why Chevrolet offers a three-truck strategy with mid-size, full-size, and heavy trucks. And each one offers special additions, providing even more ways to find your ideal truck. The common denominator for all of these truths is the customer. And we are passionate, truly passionate, about putting the customer at the center of everything we do at Chevrolet. Here's the bottom line. 2018 is a massive year for Chevrolet, with two massive launches for us. In March, we will reveal the all-new Silverado medium duty models at the NTEA workshop show in Indianapolis. But tonight, we begin the next 100 years of Chevy trucks with the all-new Chevrolet Silverado 1500. This incredible family of luxury pickups offers a variety of distinct models to choose from. This is the LT Trail Boss. It combines the off-road equipment of the iconic Z71 package with a lifted suspension white from the Chevy factory. It is one of eight models for the 2019 Silverado, from affordable work trucks to the premium high country, each with its own combination of design, technology, and performance. Let me now show you what we mean at Chevrolet. Silverado LT, LTZ, and my country. Together with the trail boss, that's four, four of our eight, yes, eight entry levels. With this broad set of offerings, we're confident the customers will be able to point to one and say, yes, that's the truck for me. To tell you more about these amazing new trucks, please welcome Mark Boyce. Each one has a stunning design with its own distinct appeal. And Mike Simco, our Vice President of Global Design, will be up in a few minutes um, to talk more specifically about the new design. The 2019 Silverado, all new from the ground up, was a massive undertaking. More than 10,000 employees from manufacturing, design, marketing, and engineering have worked on it 
And they all were intensely focused on incorporating customer feedback from previous trucks into these new models. Throughout the process, we had one singular mission, to build the very best truck for every truck customer. To improve the most dependable, longest lasting, full-size trucks on the road today, we put our new truck through the most stringent testing in our history. We'll accumulate 7 million miles of testing and validation before we deliver the first truck. Shortly after production begins in our Fort Wayne assembly plant, which is the highest quality plant in North America, according to J.D. Power. So thank you, Fort Wayne. something about our new trucks that presents a clear advantage for us, and that's our mixed material strategy. So consider this. The new Silverado offers a longer wheelbase, more passenger volume, and more cargo volume than before, and yet it's 450 pounds lighter than the current model. And that's an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of our highest volume crew cab with a V8. 450 pounds. This weight savings, combined with significant aerodynamic improvement, makes the new Silverado very responsive and a lot of fun to drive. This mass reduction is a direct result of our expertise in mixed materials and our advanced manufacturing technologies. We selected the right material for each application and optimized every component for mass, durability, safety, and function, all to meet the needs of our customers. The fully boxed steel frame is also 88 pounds lighter than its predecessor while offering 10% greater torsional rigidity. 80% of that frame is made of high strength steel varying from 2 to 5 millimeters in thickness and every millimeter is optimized for performance using a variety of manufacturing methods. As a result, frame sections, gauges, grades, processes, and materials strategically vary to maximize strength, durability, and stiffness without adding unnecessary scrappage and waste and mass. The safety cage around the passenger compartment uses seven different grades of steel to provide passenger protection. On the outer body, all swing panels are aluminum, including the doors, hood, and tailgate, helping with the ease of use and, of course, mass reduction. We're using steel in the fixed panels, like the fenders, the roof, and the cargo bed. In each and every instance, we did it without sacrificing safety, capability, or durability. The stronger, lighter frame enabled an all-new chassis tune for improved ride handling and reduced mass. The independent short long arm front suspension features new forged aluminum upper control arms that provide better wheel alignment and weight less and the stamp components they replace. The live axle rear suspension is also new, with some models featuring composite second stage springs. These are the similar and, and, and really they're pretty much the technology that we use on our, on our Corvette, and they save 24 pounds per year. Getting back to the truck truths that Alan mentioned, work comes first for truck buyers, and the working end of every pickup is the bed. It's like the head of a good hammer. It's the end that does all the work and gets all of the abuse. I don't think you'd get much work done with an aluminum hammer. <laughs> and bed strength has long been a really competitive advantage for Chevrolet. We already built the best hammer and for 2019, we made it even better. The result is the most functional bed of any full-size pickup truck. Every aspect has been re-engineered, redesigned, or reconsidered. We re-engineered the box using a new multi-piece manufacturing process, stamping the wheel well and the inner bed as separate pieces, not as one. So by doing so, we cut the wasted space between the inner and outer sidewalls of the bed and increased the maximum width of the bed floor by nearly seven inches. As a result, the new Silverado will offer best-in-class cargo volume regardless of bed length. 
Our new short lock offers 63 cubic feet of carbon to buy, and that's 23% more than the competition's short locks, and even more space than their standard locks. What does that mean? It makes it much easier to run tools or material to the job site or to haul bulky cargo line. In addition, we'll offer storage bins that fit over the wheel wells, providing seven cubic feet of lockable storage space while easily still accommodating a four by eight sheet of plywood flat on that floor because of that new bed. Be sure to take a look at it as we go on stage and take a look at these trucks. Mirith Money, the big guy from the marketing team, or what are you? Are you? Uh, I'm from PR. PR. I'm a Chevrolet okay. spokesperson. Oh, that's good. Now, is that diesel have a 10 speed here too? Yes. They're so all both, 10 the, speed. both the 6.2 and the 3 liter diesel are going to come with a 10 speed automatic. But not right. the 5.3? Uh, we didn't say with the 5.3. Right. So oh, it's got a twice speed? <laughs> So, we wanted to hit the highlights, right? So we we're just starting, it's an all new truck from the ground up. So we we're just telling you kind of the very beginning of the story now. We'll be rolling out more information throughout the year. When is the diesel coming out? So we will start production uh, in the summer. The first trucks will be delivered to customers in the fall time frame. And we will do a cadence rollout. So uh, we're not ready to talk specific models yet, but okay. it will be in the 2019 model. Some of you may not think tie-downs are too exciting, but just ask some of our customers how important they are, and you'll understand why they're important for us as Chevrolet to make sure we do the very best in that bed for our customers. We also went to a stronger grade alloy for the whole form high-strength steel bed. The result is better impact strength without added weight. For added convenience, the industry's first power tailgate is also available. It can be raised or lowered by the key fob, by buttons inside the cabinet, or a button on the tailgate itself. And customers already love our segment-exclusive corner step bumpers, as you know, because they make it easy to step up into the bed. For 2019, we've made the pockets even larger to accommodate larger steel-toed work boots. Put it in. Other enhancements include an available 120 volt power outlet and new LED cast light. You put that all together and the new Silverado's new cargo bed is easier to use no matter what you're doing or what you're hauling. Now another one of our truck truths is that customers want the ideal truck for them. That's why we'll offer six different engine and transmission combinations on the 2019 Silverado each with its own blend of performance, efficiency, and value. One of the new engine choices is an all-new 3-liter Duramax diesel, which is an inline six that builds on our diesel expertise. Now, I'm not gonna go into the numbers today, but some of our competition has already given their numbers on their new diesel. 
and I am really confident that we'll have the best performing diesel in this segment. And with diesels available on our Equinox, our Cruise, our Colorado, our Express, the Silverado 1500, and Silverado HD, no other brand offers more diesel models, more diesels, and more segments than Chevrolet. We will also offer significantly revised versions of the 5.3 liter and 6.2 liter V8 gas engines. These will be the most advanced small blocks ever built with new technologies to optimize efficiency and performance. One of those is our new dynamic fuel management that temporarily shuts off anywhere between one and seven cylinders in a variety of different combinations depending on the needs of the customer and the load that is experienced. This is quite different than what's in market today. We're very, very proud of that. And our propulsion team, I couldn't be prouder of what they've done here was something that is really um, industry first and very remarkable. So the result of this industry first technology is instant power when called for and impressive efficiency at constant loads and speeds. So the 6.2 liter V8 and the 3 liter Duramax are both equipped with our new 10 speed automatic transmission. As many of you know we offer the first 10 speed on the Camaro ZL1 and then on the Tahoe RST and if you've experienced either one you know the 10 speed delivers impressive performance and refinement and I gotta say it's the best integration of a 10 speed out there in terms of speed and uh, refinement so we've got a very special combination there with our new 10 speed in these engines. We have lots more to tell you about this all new truck tonight we're just hitting the highlights but I do want to remind you that today's Silverado is already the most connected pickup on the road. The first to offer Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless phone charging, and 4G LTE Wi-Fi. For 2019, we'll introduce new connectivity and safety features that we'll be telling you about later. It's gigantic. It does, doesn't it? Especially yeah. when it's all black. Yeah, and then the small, the small headlights all kind of emphasize how big the grill is. And the bumper looks really big, but at least this one isn't all chrome. You know, that one they had back in, was that uh, 2007? Yeah, yeah. That, that giant one. chrome bumper. It was a little too much chrome. Yeah. Well, this is a chrome delete. There's not a, there's not a shred of chrome on this thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, small headlights and all that paint. Crap, crap. It, looks, it looks mean. It does look mean. It looks mean. Bigger cab, man, this is this is awesome. Okay. There's that spoiler they put on the back of the cab. I guess. I'm not sure, but the rear leaf springs are supposed to be a composite. That means they're plastic on the overload, the bottom overload. I don't know what they are. Look at these tail lights. Awesome tail lights. Automatic door. Dual exhaust, it's oval. Good old step, big step. Actually, it's bigger than it was. And look at this bed. Look at all the tie downs in the corner. Bigger posts. So the bigger fender well. I guess we're coming out with some kind of a Chevy box, like a Ram box. If you look at how they reinforce the corners of the bed. That's pretty cool. Of course, more lights. They always add. So with more technology, more engine and transmission choices, and the most functional bed of any full-size truck, and a significant improvement in performance due to our mixed materials, we are confident that the Silverado will be the very best truck for every customer. Tim Herrick, our Executive Chief Engineer, along with Tim Osakulis, and other team members will be around later to help you answer questions. I call them Tim Squared. So, Tim and Tim, can you stand up, please? Thank you for your efforts here. Organic fuel, you guys have to build great things for people from an engineering and uh, design group and uh, execution team. But also, a very special guest here with us tonight is Mike Thomas. And he is our plant manager uh, at our Fort Wayne Assembly. And uh, he has uh, traveled up here tonight to be here. And he leads um, the number one quality JD Power Plant in North America. So, Mike, would you please stand up? Thanks for coming, Mike. And now 
to tell you about the all-new design inside and out is our global VP of design, Mr. Mike Rosimko. Mike, come on up. Before I get going, uh, all the truck legend guys out there, the Chevy truck legends who are here tonight, I think there's more than 200 of you, what do you think? How do you, what do you think about <laughs> So, thanks Mark, thanks a lot. Uh, from the earliest sketches of the next gen Silverado, designers sought to dramatically change the way the customers look at a Chevy truck. Now the task wasn't easy because we were having to redesign an icon integrating a strong, modern, forward-thinking design with the Chevy truck DNA. A Chevy truck DNA that's over 100 years old now. Developing an all-new structure gave us the opportunity to re-examine the proportions of the truck. In this early sketch, you can see an elongated cab, a shorter hood, and a shorter front overhang. It gave the design and engineering teams a strong vision of what the truck could be from a proportional standpoint, which is really important for design. It's the backbone, where it all starts. The, the result is a truck with a bigger, bolder, and a lot more functional, but is a lot more functional and efficient. But the most important proportional decision we made was to increase the wheelbase uh, by nearly four inches. And at the same time, the overall length was only increased by one and a half inches. This allowed us to reduce the length of the front end by pushing the front wheels forward. Thank you. The driver also sits more than an inch higher in this truck and the hood, roofline, and the overall profile are all about an inch taller. An important practical benefit to all these changes is that it allowed us to increase the usable space of the cargo box and the cab. It also allowed us to give the truck its bowl shape and its strong road presence. Muscularity, very important in a truck, is expressed by the dramatic, dramatic surfacing that you'll see on the body and the hood. Then to match the larger scale of the truck, we increased the overall diameter of the tyres. They're up to 33 inches now. All the, all the design guys cheer on that one. And responding to overwhelming customer requests, we added the integrated dual exhaust in the rear. A little, little bit of support in every truck. LED lighting, of course, continues to drive new designs. On the new Silverado, the headlamps are slim and tapered, with an accent on the lighting signature. Creative and the creativity and technology are expressed in the front lighting. This contributes to a premium appearance that designers carried over to the rear of the truck as well. And when we shared the first few of the, the designs in December this year, many people commented on the beauty of the tail lamps. And there's an interesting story that goes with uh, why they look so great. Sensors are now integrated into the corner step bumper. This allows us to create a fully functional and fully lit tail lamp without a large dead zone to accommodate these sensors. Day or night, you'll recognize this new Silverado. Now, as designers, we must deliver the emotional connection our customers feel or need to feel when they see a vehicle. But that's not all uh, that we do. Everything else is around this is highly technical and, and delivering the components that we, we have to deliver here on this, to deliver aerodynamics, especially when it comes to aerodynamics, of course. And this big, bold truck is surprisingly aerodynamic. For example, the new wing-like panels or air curves are, are defining elements of the new uh, Silverado face, inspired by the sixth generation Camaro. You can see how, how air will flow through these inlets and around the front wheel openings. That design feature gave us around 11 counts of drag reduction, which is huge. There's also a highly tuned spoiler on the rear of the roof it directs airflow over the bed and onto the top of the tailgate, where there is a yet another detailed surface also to reduce drag. The result of the entire aero effort on this truck is a 7% improvement over the current Silverado. Now that delivers improved efficiency and also reduced wind noise. Rich Shear and his team can provide more detail on all the exterior elements when we finish up. Now Rich is the director of our Chevy Truck Exterior Studio, and Rich, can you please stand up? <laughs> and there are also another couple of people you should talk to. Uh, Craig Sass, who managed the interior, and Rebecca Waldmeyer. Please, could you stand up as well? <laughs> they, they 
don't represent the core of the design team, but you'll find there are many, many design, design people here that you've got a chance to talk to tonight. Um, they have a, a great story. Now, you, I know you want to see the interior, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you that. And it's all new. We made all cab configurations larger, especially front to back, to improve seating comfort, as well as entry and egress. The new proportions also allow us to raise the front seat for a more com commanding view and increase the headroom to a segment leading 34 inches. Overall, this is the best package in the industry, front and back. When it came to redesigning the instrument panel controls, customer input was loud and clear. They wanted it to be functional, intuitive, and much like the current truck. We focused our efforts, therefore, on refining the execution and craftsmanship of every interior element, and to make it more durable and enjoyable to use for our customers. Now, this is a very big truck, but let me give you an example of the level of detail that goes into designing these things. We optimise the knob textures to use with or without gloves, although tonight we'll definitely need the gloves. We improve the overall ergonomics of the vehicle, and we set a higher standard for material selection. Now, one customer demand was lots of storage, and we found innovative solutions to make the most of all of the space available. We added hidden compartments in the rear seat backs and a new storage bin under the rear seat. It almost looks like there's room to stick a gun through there. Use this exact part, whether you got the oh, That's all great, uh, but the real big story on this truck is customer choice. Alan mentioned that we have developed eight distinctly different looks to offer more choice than ever before to our customers. If you like, eight customer personas. That's important because truck customers have definite opinions. If a truck doesn't meet their individual design criteria, they simply won't consider it. Take, for example, how strongly people feel about crime. Some want a little, some a lot, and these days, some don't want any at all. And there's no compromising. Show them the wrong truck, and it will be instantly dismissed. But show them a range of different looks, and it's easy to pick out the one truck that's right for those customers. And of course, it's more about the truck than just chrome. There's a broad spectrum of ex expectations when it comes to features and affordability. Some customers don't want features that they might consider unnecessary. For them, we, have, we offer the high value trucks, specifically the work truck, custom, and custom trail box. Now, right on the other end of the spectrum, <coughs> We have customers who want luxury car levels of refinement and comfort. And for these buyers, we offer high feature trucks. This is the fastest growing segment uh, in, the, in the truck business. And we have the LTZ and the High Country, which is designed to fill these needs, especially the High Country, which is, offers the, the greatest, greatest differentiation. <laughs> and it's more premium than ever with a luxurious new interior. And then there's the heart of the market. This is called high volume. This is where you'll find the LT, the core model in our lineup, and two new offerings. The LT Trail Bus, which you saw, the red truck, Ellen introduced, and the RST. Similar to the RS designation on our cars, the RST offers a sport appearance that many customers are looking for these days. Taken together, these eight trim levels will allow every truck customer the opportunity to find a truck that they will absolutely love at a price that, that, that suits their budget. All right. So Joe Sackless is the chief engineer for Silverado. This is Kent Sundling, also known as Kent, also known as Mr. Truck. Mr. Truck. That's my website. <laughs> Great to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. That's good. It follows the same thing. I love the 6.2. So you're going to have more horsepower, more torque in both those engines, uh, the 5.3 and the 6.2. Those, those engines will be the most efficient. They'll be the most, I mean, they, they, I think Mark talked about dynamic fuel management. You right. Can run on one one cylinder. cylinder. You can run on seven cylinders. Is that downhill? Or Kansas or what? You'd be surprised. <laughs> Ride quality in these, when you get them out on the road, they are transparent, smooth yeah. transitions. Well, it was a big deal for me to have that steering wheel back where it's supposed to be instead of hitting out the window. You know, the, the, I'm the one that bitches about that the last 30 years, so that's who I am. The, the GPS team, our global propulsion team, yeah. did a stellar job when they, they basically took those powertrains, did a great job of integrating them, and the smooth, the ship quality, everything is just top notch. That graphite overload, is that is that plastic overload or what does that mean? Well, for the, for the, 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 the 
talked about. I was at the second stage spring. Ken was asking me, like, what is it made of? And I was like, oh, yeah, I composite. Know. That could be anything. Is that, is that, is that, you know, I'd have to look. I can't, I don't want to give you definitives on that. I can, I can okay. bring someone over that can explain it. It looks like painted steel looking at that one, but if it's a top bottom well, overload. These, these trucks are all steel. Yeah, but I mean, we no. have here. well, composite is non steel, right? When they say right. composite leaf. Right. Correct. So that could be graphite, could be plastic, could be your, fiberglass. Your second stage is composite. I'll find out for you. I'll, I'll, oh, that'd be I'll great because that'd be neat to know. Sure. Yeah. Cool. And they're on asymmetrical axes like the heavy duty, right? They're still fairly yeah, centered. Yeah. Okay. They, they're probably the least squatting truck of the half tons, yeah. which I really, I'm, I'm a big trailer guy. You know so what? the stance on this truck is, uh, it, we, we think it's perfect. You know, the balance the studio brought to us, the ride quality, uh, they've done a great job. Yeah. Mike Garrido, you know, Mike, can you answer the question on the composite uh, leaf spring? The second stage. Second stage. Second stage. What's the material? Um, I, 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 these no, are elite development engineers. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the specs on that. Uh, so we don't know if it's plastic or fiberglass or graphite or I don't know. Moon rocks. Oh. Or, I will find out. I, 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 I will guarantee you, it's not moon rocks. Not moon rocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, the headlights are so small, it makes the grill look gigantic. Because, you know, the 2007 had that giant bumper that was like three feet tall. Those LED lights, you'd be amazed at the light that they give off the light the road nicely. Yeah, it almost looks like a heavy duty because the grill looks so big. And if you take a look at the the, uh, the custom, the work truck, and then the custom uh, lifted truck, they have a different lighting configuration. Those That's the stack lights. So you got yeah. stack lights, and then you got the uh, three LEDs side by side. Now the lifted truck, we is that a trail boss, custom. or which one is a lifted one? Is a trail boss you a lifted can, you one? You can get two lifted trucks. You can get an LT trail boss lifted truck, and you can also get a custom lifted truck out of the factory. That's what it is, a four inch or a two inch? Two inch. Two inch, okay, that's like where the power wagon is. Two inch. Two inch. Cool. And then you can probably get a 36 inch or a 37 inch tire on. We're putting 33s <laughs> on right now. Is that I what like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We gotta keep the marketing guys in check, you know? Oh, that's good, that's good, that's cool. Yeah, I like the bed, I like the bigger cab. You can never go wrong with a bigger cab. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. No, it's an awesome looking you truck. you get a chance to take a look at the bed when you drop the gate? It's yeah. Yeah, Not yeah, room. yeah. Not room. Oh, it does. Downs. And I'm you got bigger you posts gotta, in the corners. You got to try this one out. So the High Country has the power up down tailgate. Yeah. So if you just lift it a little bit, it'll actually take over and it'll lift and close by itself. Oh, it's a sensor, huh? Does it work off of your key fob too? Yes. It does. It does. Wow. That's a lot of stuff to come out with all at once. Well, and you did a pretty good job keeping a secret because usually okay. I know these things. Good to see you, Monty. So we're here looking at this new 2019 Silverado. The brake controllers where I've been asking them to put it for since probably 2015 or no 2008. When was he first with the brake controller in there? 2006. It's been in the uh, left-hand position for quite a while. Yeah, since you first put it in, and I complained about it, and then you guys moved it up, which is more functional, so people like that. And now you moved to the right side. It makes me happy. <laughs> you got the steering wheel in the middle. I mean, it points straight ahead instead of over toward the door. You got the brake controller. It's supposed to be. I'm so excited. I got to buy one of these things. <laughs> and what's great, your name again? You. Or, or what's your what's your job? My name is Eliodoro Pacheco. I'm the uh, lead designer. I'm the user interface, which means essentially all of the uh, controls throughout cool. the interior. Well, good job. I'm Thank excited. You. Thank you. Now, this is cool. This is that six-cylinder Duramax diesel that will be out for 2019. And it's going to have a 10-speed automatic. And you can see here, they finally figured this out. you got to put the DEF tank where you can fill it up with the nozzle. None of that crap. Putting the big five-gallon jug over your head, pour it under the hood. This is so cool. I climbed all underneath it. I cannot find the DEF tank. But I was assured by one of the engineers that it's above the frame now. But this is, I mean, there's so many cool things about this truck. They're really, I mean, once they started putting top terminal battery posts in these trucks, I knew they were on their way. But I love the steering wheel where it's at. The seat is lined up straight. I'm so tickled. This is just one of the many things that I love about this truck.
you see where the brake controller is? Sorry? Yeah, it's on the right side. Isn't yeah. that awesome? Yeah, I know, they moved it. All the shit that I've been bitching yeah, about for 10 push, years, push, they did. Like push button start? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Too. Push button start? Yeah, look at that. Wow. Did you see the park brake button? Yeah. Now, before you ask, uh, it's, a, it's a question we're expecting. Yes, there's more differentiation than ever before to the new GMC Sierra, so that's the end. Which you'll discover when, you, when we release it uh, in the near future. Now, this is the all-new Silverado, and it represents the best of what our company has to offer. And we're quite confident that we've created the very best truck for every customer. You got to wait until there's wrong guys here. Good news is there's another one over there, so they said six power, spread the six power, 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 power,